friends welcome to my channel my name is wolo i want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel i posted something on the instagram page the canada info instagram page and the community channel um asking if um canada will end immigration after the elections uh, this is a hot topic and um, i just want to discuss about it so that everybody can be aware of what is going on so in your plan of um, trying to immigrate just you have to keep abreast of um, what is currently trending in canada and that's the elections the forthcoming elections will be held october 21 2019 and there are five political parties the first one is the liberals which is the current government in power and that is justin trudeau and the second is the conservatives which is led by andrew Scheer. He, uh, and that the Conservative Party is uh, seemingly the main opposition to the Liberals. And then the third party is um, NDP, which is led by Jagmeet Singh. I'll be leaving the pictures of these people so that you can have a picture of who they are. And then um, the fourth party is the Green Party, which is led by Elizabeth May. And then the fifth party is led by Maxime Benier, that's the People's Party of Canada. Maxime Benier was formerly a member of the Conservative Party and um, when he did not win the seat, he created his own party, which is now the People's Party of Canada. So I am not a political person, but I like to keep, um, inf I keep, I like to keep myself informed of what is going on wherever I find myself because if you are not informed, you will not know the policies and the things that might affect you in the future. So based on that, um, I'll be discussing um, if immigration plans will end or if immigration programs will end um, after the elections. And that's because these parties that are vying for the position of the Prime Minister of Canada, um, they have their own um, plans towards immigration. And immigration is a hot topic in Canada for this election because of what has been going on over the years, um, the level of asylum claims that increased um, as increased as from 2017 until date. So based on that, a lot of people have been confusing asylum claimants, um, refugee with the normal immigration channel. So a lot of people are not really aware, they do not really know the difference between what who an asylum claimant is, who a refugee is, and who an immigrant is. So they are every a lot of people are lumping up um, these three categories together as if they are in other the same category. So there's this general sentiment that immigrants are taking over Canada. Whereas everybody is almost everybody, apart from the First Nations people who are the indigenous people, uh, immigrants to Canada. The current population of Canada sits at 37,412,852. That was, I think, that was as at uh, April, according to Statistics Canada. That's where we are. I got the information from, according to Stats Canada, and that's the current population of Canada. And based on that, in 2018, um, they set new immigration targets to be 1 million within the next three years, starting from 2019. So with, from 2019, um, the number of immigrants that will be admitted into Canada is about 350,000 immigrants, and then 2020, and then 2021. So this was set by Justin Trudeau's government, which is the Liberal government, and the current government. And then some other persons just see these um, numbers as um, too high and um, they are calling for more like a low a, a reduction of immigration into canada so a lot of people want these uh, numbers to be reduced and um, some of these parties like the ndp they are not really um, saying anything with regards to immigration all they are um, all their campaign um, statement is to get towards reduction of um, cost and living expense for Canadians, you know, making a lot of promises. The Conservatives also uh, made reference to um, loopholes concerning the current immigration system. And the loopholes is with reference to the number of asylum claimants that um, came into Canada 
um, between 2017 and date. The conservative plan is to you know, kind of close that loophole, which I think Justin Trudeau is also making efforts to close the loophole. I'll be showing you a video of um, the statement that was made and concerning that because a lot of people just felt that crossing into Canada to claim asylum was a free ticket into Canada. Let me make the point emphatically that coming across the border in a way that tries to circumvent the law or defy proper procedure is no free ticket to Canada. Seeking asylum is not a shortcut to get around normal immigration rules and procedures. They, there must be legitimate reasons why asylum is necessary or it will not be granted. Based on what has happened, it has fueled a lot of negative sentiments amongst so many people and this election will determine if the immigration levels will increase or it will be reduced. So if Justin Trudeau has stated that uh, we need Canada needs one million immigrants within the next three years, some other political parties are saying those immigration levels are too high and should be reduced. So it means if after the elections, anybody who wins, there is a likelihood of uh, the immigration levels being reduced. If Justin Trudeau wins, the plan will still remain the same. But if another person wins, we don't know what it's going to be. And I, I'm going to make reference to one of the uh, political parties, which is um, the People's Party of Canada, and that's Maxime Benier. Maxime Benier has been very vocal about immigration levels, multiculturalism, and diversity. And um, I'll be leaving a link to his to one of the videos he did on that so that you can watch that video. The billboards have popped up along highways across Canada. Say no to mass immigration, vote People's Party. Launching his campaign from his Quebec riding today, Maxime Bernier defended the billboards. We want fewer immigrants, a maximum of 150,000 a year. And, you know, we're not for mass immigration. The billboards were put up by a third party called True North Strong and Free Advertising Corporation. Bernier tweeted that his party has no connection to the group, but that the billboards do accurately represent his stance on immigration. For me, mass immigration, it's 350,000 a year. If you look at it, after three years, that would be a million new Canadians, and it's the equivalent of the population of Nova Scotia. Bernier points to the Quebec election. Coalition Avenir Quebec leader François Legault successfully ran on a campaign promise to temporarily reduce the number of immigrants. Bernier says many other Canadians want to have a similar discussion. As for those billboards, there has been criticism. Nova Scotia's Liberal Premier Stephen McNeil tweeted, As Premier, I welcome everyone to Nova Scotia, but I don't welcome this negative, divisive tone. Bernier says it's not negative at all. So we need to go back, we need to have fewer immigrants, but we need to be sure that these people would be able to integrate our society, to be part of our society. He has been vocal, he has said that immigration levels for Canada is too ambitious, that the uh, immigration levels should be reduced. So. It means if he is voted into power, there is a very likelihood of reducing immigration levels. If Trudeau has proposed um, 1 million immigrants for Canada between 2019 and 2021, and um, he, he, he is voted into power, if he remains in power, it means it's going to continue. But if any other person comes into power, the dynamics will change. A lot of things will change. A lot of rules might change. So this is why I'm doing the video to sensitize people with on the forthcoming elections and how it's going to affect immigration. Um, and for me, in my own opinion, what I would say is this. Um, nobody knows what's going to happen. And um, I am not a political person. I am just a normal person that likes observing and likes reading information that I know will be beneficial to me. And based on that, we do not know what will happen after October 21, if immigration will continue and if it's going to continue at what level will Canada still be um, taking people 
the way they are taking people or will the immigration levels be reduced drastically according to statistics canada the aging population is higher so they need more people to replace the aging population of canada so there are about nine million baby boomers who are retiring so they need to replace the workforce of those people that's why they are bringing in more people to replace the people that are retiring but but the plans for immigration is totally different based on who will be voted into power so we don't know who will be voted into power we don't the polls are saying one thing but from what happened in the u.s and trump being voted in we cannot trust totally the polls we cannot totally trust the polls and we cannot uh, predict who might win or who might not win so it's a um it's a situation where tensions are high uh, a lot of political statements a lot of political opinions has been going on I myself, I cannot vote because I am still a permanent resident, so I cannot vote. Like I said, I'm just so I'm just keen about what is going on and what is happening in Canada. So this is my own personal opinion, and everybody just has to keep his fingers crossed until October 21 before we'll know who the next Prime Minister of Canada will be and what the immigration plans will be after the elections so this is the information i want to share um just keep your eyes and keep your ears open just keep watching every information that um is open out there concerning um, the elections that is going on in canada and let's hope for the best that's what i would say we should just hope for the best um thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video Bye bye